surprise, everyone. It is Jacob Shoup filling in for Tom O'Brien. Again, he will be back with us Wednesday. Let's take a look before we break into anything. I want to go over real quick to TFNN.com. We sent out emails and everything, but we are starting the July double bonus sale for Tiger Dollars. This is uh, fantastic. So you get a 20% bonus. These tiers are phenomenal. I know a lot of you guys look forward to this every year. We do one in December and then in July as well. We are rocking this. Uh, and July 22nd, so you get a 20% bonus for the first tier. We got a uh, 30% bonus the second and then a 40 percent bonus as well now this is applied to every purchase that you make through tfnn that's applied first uh, they never expire they're transferable all that good stuff and there's no better time uh, to get into that uh, because we have uh, another installment of live trading fridays with larry this friday now these are awesome again from 9 a.m to 12 noon that is eastern time uh, you just sit with Larry. You sit with Larry, you watch him trade. Now, he's been in the game for so long. All of you guys love his programming. If you have not checked this out yet, just come on, right? We have the code LarryJuly24. That's going to save $50 for your first month. Um, this is a perfect package right now. We have some other interesting stuff coming up this month as well, but uh, I'm going to stay quiet on that and wait for you guys to see. Let's take a look at what we've going on in the market. It's like flat, nothing's going on, huh? The SPY is flat, uh, the E-mini is flat, the Russell Future's up a little bit, the NQ's flat, Comp barely up anything at all, and the Dow Future's down slightly, and then just the Dow itself down slightly as well. Gold coming off a little bit, a lot of people are calling that, I'm looking at it on the daily chart, let me just switch to the yearly, just for the looks. Uh, a lot of people are saying this is just sell off. Of course, we're going to have Tim Ord on uh, tomorrow and Thursday, and then Tom will be back as well. Uh, again, if you haven't checked out Tom's gold report, strongly recommend doing so because he goes over all these metals and just a general uh, trajectory of gold in the miners. Uh, silver off about 2.4% right now. Copper as well. Crude oil also off slightly, trading down 1.24%. Uh, crude futures at 8213 Steel Dynamics doing nothing. Tesla kind of slowing down a little bit. That is unbelievable. This whole day, I don't know what got into me, but I was looking at Tesla. I, of course, was not going to buy it at this point. But that is pretty substantial volume to that upside, right? I mean, that's not just creeping up and a few people doing it. Um, what else? I was looking at Rivian. Nikola, which is insane. We can talk about that a little bit. Uh, let's look at what Nikola's trading at right now. I thought this company was dead, but uh, not. Nah, we're up 22.69% today on substantial volume as well. Uh, this is a tr company with very troubled past, uh, but it looks like they're rebounding a little bit. They have some deals with Walmart Canada uh, with their hydrogen fuel cells. We'll talk a little bit about that. And Nike as well, uh, because this has just been a lot of things that people are talking about. Disney continuing to do this thing that it does down at 97 27 not a lot really going on in that company uh, right now what was i looking at as well is palantir okay and i have a really rough relationship with this company i've been locked in it uh for years when i was learning how to trade like as a young man uh i made silly mistakes as we all do and it ended up getting me into palantir a little bit actually below this price right now. And I am so tempted to get out of the thing. It is such a strange company, okay? And I, I, I'm conflicted on this, right? You have a market cap of 59 billion. That's way above the revenue. The PE is 232, which is nuts. I think NVIDIA is a 73 or something. Uh, you have this forming right now, which is what I, pretty sure is just a, a bullish or excuse me a bearish hammer which is not good you have a move up on no real significant volume okay carp is interesting into how he talks to the short sellers obviously the u.s uses this for data aggregation it might be used widespread for data aggregation as well for the rollout of ai which would be super unique i know that people at least from what i've heard from friends that i have or whatever uh, that are in the military, that they like this platform and, it, and it's used. And they're focusing more on expanding throughout America, not so much 
into other NATO countries, if it, if it really catches on in a, in a major way uh, in America, and I'm talking even with, in private companies, uh, then you can expand out you know, to Europe and maybe NATO countries uh, in particular. And this would be great for this company. Um, but I'm, I'm conflicted on it right now, and I'm just talking for myself, honestly, uh, because I, I kind of want to take profits out there being in it for so long. But something that is really neat that they have done, this is five days ago, okay? They have something called AIP, all right? And this is just the basic aggregation of, of data for AI, okay? And they've made it free. They've made the base free, which is going to be massive for getting that out to a, um, we can even talk about, you know, just the private sector and, and, and general business or anything like that. This is massive. Now, that's going to cut a little bit, maybe into the short term, into their, into their revenue. But the AIP Enterprise is still upgradable, and they have a bunch of different suites, right? And I think this, in particular, is really cool with Palantir. And so that's kind of my thought on it right now, and uh, I kind of wanted to just talk that out. If anyone has any other opinions that they have uh, developed on Palantir, I would love to hear it. We love listening to that kind of stuff. Uh, we can talk a little bit about Nikola before the break here. Give me a second to pull everything up. So the big news, this came out last Friday. We have a little bit more news as well. So for Q2 2024, the uh, Nikola wholesaled 72 Class 8 Nikola hydrogen fuel cell trucks. That's above the high end of truck sales guidance of 60 units, so they smashed that. The firm reports uh, that it wholesaled 112 hydrogen fuel cell trucks for 2024. Uh, the CEO said we have maintained our 2024 momentum with solid wholesale numbers, new customers such as Walmart Canada, and repeat customers like Forgen and IMC. Let me see. Anything else interesting from them? That's really the big thing, right? That it, it, you have Wayfair testing Nikola trucks, which is important. I don't know. That's just if you're holding at this level and you, you got in, like, congrats as long as it's below that price point. But folks, stay tuned. We'll be right back with Steve Rhodes. Mm -hmm. 